up people welcome back to the channel so we are essentially one month away from the official store launch date of the 25th anniversary uh, dueling hero tins I am extremely excited for these tins um, they're like like essentially to make it to make it simple they are the mega tins they are the mega tins that we always get collector tins however you know however they've been implanted into your mind for me pretty much i've kind of always called them the mega tin so that's the it's so if, if i say that i'm essentially talking about this 25th anniversary tin right here so we like i said we are pretty much one month away from that official tournament store date launch and you know a lot of, like i said not gonna go over too much of this stuff you know all this 300 cards but I like this Battles of Chaos, Dimension Force, Darkwing Blast, Tactical Matches, and the Grand Creator. So I've decided to kind of make a list of the five cards, like like the five cards that I feel are 100% going to be in the tin. There, 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 there is there is one that might be kind of a little bit like like back and forth because I was talking about it and I'm like maybe it won't, but I'm just gonna throw it in there. So let's see how it goes. So if you like what we do here, please feel free to like and subscribe. If not, it is all cool. We're trying to get the Trying to get the channel to 500 subscribers, you know, hopefully we'll do a giveaway when we get to that goal. You know, please leave a like and a comment down below. Helps out a lot. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to go ahead and do this list in the order of how they appear right here. So starting with the Battle of the Chaos, there's also, there's a lot of cards. But before I get into this, there is a lot of cards that are going to be in the set. So I understand that just picking five is kind of that, but I didn't want to make it like too long. Like, oh, this, this, and that. There's some obvious cards. And also some that, you know, that are kind of like more the heavy hitters and a little bit of my reasons why. So, let's go start with Battle of Chaos, Illusion of Chaos. Illusion of Chaos is is a card that is really, like, very interesting. Like, I, I've always, like, it, it's just stayed expensive, you know, simply because it's used in the niche dark magician deck. And there is, and, and like, it does have, like, like, a little bit of synergy. I think it had, like, a little bit of an engine. I forgot, like, what it was, like, really used with. But it's kind of like fluctuated everywhere, it was super low, and then just recently it has shot up. Simply why? Because a lot of people assume that it is going to be in in the in the tins. I'm I'm pretty confident it's gonna be in the tins too. You got right here, you got a lot of you know 37, 37, 36, and to be honest, I really feel like this card is going to be in the tins. There are some people that believe that this card is going to miss is going to miss the tins. But, you know, there's also a lot of other cards, you know, cards that said there is, this deck also has Guardian Chimera, which is another card that has kind of like really gone up in popularity because of the Chimera archetype. So I do feel that there are some other cards which maybe could miss the tins because they, they already gave the, you know, the Chimera a reprint. So maybe they might, you know, say, oh, we'll, we'll skip the Chimera, but put this in because I really feel like they're going to want to, they're really going to want to sell these tins well okay that's a dumb thing to say of course i want to sell it but i guess what i'm saying is there's there, there, there's some cards that i have on this list that like they're probably going to put on the ban list four weeks after they release these tins so i wouldn't be surprised if they want to put a couple of good bangers in these tins to make sure that even after they hit all these cards they're still able to sell some of the rewaves so i do feel like illusion of chaos will be one of those cards that will be in the new tins Therion King Regulus. This right here it is used in a lot of different like combo decks. There is a lot of uh, there's the Earth Machine combo decks that they use this card. There is a uh, th there's uh, yeah you have the plants. Uh, what, what was the other? Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah yeah okay I'm drawing a blank of the trap trick. Yes tra tra trap trick. They even tra trap trick were able to use this. I played a trap trick guy that kind of had this engine in there. I don't know why I drew that blank. But yeah, like, there's a lot of different decks that are able to incorporate the Therion King Regulus. You have ABC, that's another deck that can incorporate this. Rika, yeah, so like, there's a lot of different people, different uh, decks that want to incorporate this card. But this card has always been a little bit expensive. It was pretty high for, like, the you know, like, while it was, you know, in the 50s. And it kind of just, you know, it's been going down, down, and down. And it's kind of like plateauing right here in 28. But I do see it being put into the 10s, getting its first reprints, probably going to be... You know the prismatic plus in the quarter century rare so it's it's gonna it's gonna get its competition for a starlight version too so like um to like to be honest i really really have faith in the starlight version because i do see regulus being uh I, I i do see it coming up the next meta like i really feel like it was under uh, uh under explored like like i mean like okay that's kind of another thing that's people might you know disagree with 
but it was using a lot of decks but it just i feel like there was a lot more that we, we could have been doing like a lot like a lot more like a lot a lot of more like like i don't know what i'm trying to say here i i just feel like regular should have a bigger presence in the meta and i think this upcoming one could be you know it could be a potential so maybe you know like maybe i might want to invest in the reprint i don't know but i do feel like it's going to be in those tins because this is another card that i feel is going to start to is going to help carry the tins when they when they eventually try to rewave them Cast your Fenrir is is uh, pretty much like my kind of like my number one card from Dark Ring Blast that I feel is going to get reprinted, especially because I feel like they're going to kill Kashira in the upcoming list. M maybe for us in the TCG, they might leave a small little sliver, kind of like how they li they left us a little like a small like l little sliver to use um, a tier a tier element and kind of leave it this little like extremely skilled mill luck based ro uh, rogue strategy. You, you know that, that like that like could either be the worst the worst thing ever or like the most broken freaking like w like one card combos and uh, not one card combos but like you know like sending one card mills and just getting all this advantage so they maybe they might leave that for us but i really do feel like they're going to put fenrir in there get a lot of people to buy it and then limit this guy to one so like like that way it brings down the power cash era plus they do have longevity to like sell the sell the tins later so i do see cash gear fenrir pretty in there but i do feel like it's gonna get hit so this is one of the cards that it's like the first card that i feel is gonna get reprint and hit in, the, in that tin runic tip so th there's a lot of stuff from from tactical masters that really needs to get reprinted well, a lot well it, yeah i guess it's more on the runic side like a lot of stuff on the runic side you have the you have the um you have the uh Hugin, the, the Runic Hugin, the Runic Wings, Runic Tip, and Runic Fountain. I feel like all three of those are going to get reprinted and put into the tin, but m most mostly it's going to be Tip. Like, 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 Tip at one point was, like, going for almost, like, $40. Right now, it's at 30 at its peak. And, like I said, it has been coming down because people have been realizing, you know, it's going to get reprinted. But it is kind of plateauing here at 20 because it is still one of the best engines. Like, Runic is one of, like, the best engines, but I do feel like the runic engine is gonna get hit a, i mean i feel like a little harder in the tcg than the ocg because in, in the ocg it, it was it was used for more of what it was supposed to be used for it was supposed to be more of like a stall advantage like a little bit of advantage generator you know kind of like thing like cheesy win con over in the tcg we really turned this thing into like like a lot of like a lot of users say 20 instant fusions like i like when I first started using the deck, I did run the stun version, you know, and then like then like I remember someone was like, oh, you should run that with for hire, and that just changed my perspective. And I spent like months just running different versions of this deck, and I had like a really 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 good time. So it's uh, I I really feel like the TCG is gonna get way harder hits to Runic. Like I feel like they're gonna bring Fountain and Tip to one. And even even potentially like they could even they could even bring like like even maybe even bring Hugin down to one like all three of them could bring him to one especially because like you really want to because like e even if you get rid of the cards around like you get rid of the sprite stuff you get rid of this I really feel like you like like if you um like if you leave too much of the runic stuff it's just gonna come back in a different deck so I really do feel like we're gonna get a harder round of hits to runic than the OCG did so runic tip is another card that they're gonna they're gonna reprint a bunch of runic stuff everyone's gonna go get their runic stuff and then like a month later they're gonna like bring tip to one bring found to one maybe hugin to two or leave it alone but i do feel like we're gonna get a harder round of hits and i was and for the last card i was kind of looking around the grand creators and i'm like man they, they, they've already reprinted like, a lot of stuff they are probably gonna reprint you know like the ride of armistice and the other the the, the, um, the other the other card that that you know the the other card the water enchanters like they i'm most likely they're gonna reprint those but what what really needs to get a reprint is the faithful adventure faithful adventure has this one printing never got its reprint and it's just been going up since then like these were just like two dollar cards and then boom they the second they you know they didn't get a reprint they they, they were going to get their reprint and the only reprint the the, uh, the other two bam this card has just shot up right now you get a life plate first hit for 15 dollars 14 16 yeah look at that just man this thing has like almost i was gonna say tripled in price it's like it's what is that like five like like five x this price over here like jesus no even more no I'm, I'm, my math is off here it's like freaking like seven x on this price basically it was like freaking like 250 then bam now it's going up now we're getting like 15 dollars that's freaking crazy man we are we like this this is this is kind of just the effect of uh selective 
reprints. You know, Konami Scissors says, okay, we're gonna reprint all this, but we're gonna leave this out. So just boom, like, like you know, those just kind of like those go down and this rises up. So I do feel like the Fateful Adventure is gonna be in there. So if you have these, I would just like I said, if you have some of this stuff, I would get rid of them now to get you to get your values so that way you could be ready and maybe kind of vest them in some of the more expensive cards or maybe just it's like like saw all that stuff now and then buy it back when it gets reprinted so that way you kind of have a little extra for the you know a little extra cash on the side for the next meta all right guys that's it for the video peace out